I'm not entirely sure how I got so focused on mountains and valleys. Nothing grows on the top of the mountains. It's all rock and ice and snow. The growth is always down in the valley. It's the Lord doing it. He just has taken the very simplest thing, 72 words and four chords, and used it to really touch a lot of hearts and lives. It's a, it's a humbling thing. When I look back on it, I know it wasn't anything that we did. It's exalting God, and that's what makes the difference. It's easy to praise Him when you're on the mountain, but when you're hurting and it's tough, it's good when you can say, you're still God. It's something so profoundly powerful and anointed about those lyrics. People want to know the God that gives you that kind of hope. National Quartet Convention asked me to bring the songwriters into Freedom Hall and it let us introduce uh, the writer of a song that they all know. How many people have ever heard the song, God on the Mountain? I want you to thank the writer that wrote such a great song as God on the Mountain. It's really pretty amazing that it came so simply in the middle of the night. It's as if really the song was a message to me. When you're down in the valley and you lose all hope, that's when your faith is built. The God on the mountain is still God in